Good morning, everyone. I'm Matt from New Art Products. Today, we're gonna to be going over the Evolus Primacy card printer and some basic troubleshooting tips to help you get your printer back up and running. Um, so the first thing you're, we're, we're gonna take a look at is the indicator lights on the front of your printer. So there's four indicator lights. The first one up here on top is obviously your power button. The second indicator light is uh, your ribbon or card notification. So that could be your low on cards or your low on ribbon. The one in the middle, which isn't lit up right now, is for a cleaning. Your printer should be cleaned every six months or every 1,000 cards. So when that lights up, contact Newbart. We'll be happy to help you out with cleaning your machine. And then the last indicator light is a mechanical air indicator. So that's if you have something malfunctioning in the printer, you definitely want to give us a call so we can troubleshoot or keep watching this video and we will go over a few of those uh, issues th th that would cause that to light up. So one common issue with the Evolus Primacy and really any ID badge printer is a broken ribbon. Um, this will happen when the print head gets too hot or perhaps a setting has been changed uh, within the driver and it's just not functioning correctly. Um, or maybe you're using the wrong cards that can cause the, car the ribbons to break as well. So it's a really easy fix. Um, when it comes to broken ribbons, you can throw them away if you'd like to. Uh, we, we, you, don't, you don't need to obviously because uh, we, can, we can fix it and continue to use it. Uh, and this also applies for any other uh, supplies for your printer, including lamination. So uh, easiest thing to do is to go ahead and just grab a piece of scotch tape, find the one end of your ribbon that is ripped off, find the other side, go ahead and slap that together. And then all we're going to do is roll that forward just a few times and go ahead and stick it back in the printer, close the lid, and we're back up and running. That's as simple as that. Another common issue with your Evolus Primacy that you may encounter is an error that pops up that says ribbon not detected. Uh, that really could be one of two things uh, with this particular machine. So the first thing is when we open the lid, it could be your ribbon sensor, which is located right here. Um, definitely contact us. This is quite a, a task to replace and you know we'll be happy to, to help you out with getting that replaced. Uh, the second thing, kind of the, the more common of the two, is if you open up the side, there's a little tab inside here, a little gray tab. Pull that up and the side of your printer opens right up. Now, the, the uh, gear here that moves your ribbon is actually this one right here, this one that goes up and down vertically, the clear one. And as you can see, we have kind of some shavings in here. And over time, this is a good indicator that your O-ring has been worn out and stretched and uh, it's probably just not gripping this gear as well as it had when it was brand new. Um, so definitely contact us and we can help you out with getting that uh, replacement part uh, to make sure that we get that air uh, of ribbon not detected cleared up for you. Next thing we want to go over with your Evolus Primacy troubleshooting is cards not feeding into the printer itself. So could be a couple different things. First thing we want to take a look at is right here on this gauge. These printers are meant to print anywhere from 10 mil cards all the way up to 50 mil cards, which is the thickness of the card. Your standard card size and what 99% of customers are using is a 30 mil card. So make sure that's set right there in the, side, in the center. The next thing is your cards, uh, when they come out of your, your packaging, most of the time they have uh, static between them. So we always recommend just shuffling your cards a little bit, breaking them up, making sure there's no static actually between those cards that's causing two of them to stick together. The next thing that you want to check is inside the printer, up in the top here, we're going to open the lid, and there's a cleaning roller that should be located right here behind where it says gray, you know where it says uh, gray uh, cleaning roller. Um, sometimes this will pop out, so make sure this roller is actually in the machine. Um, otherwise, you will have cards not feeding into the printer and you will get an error. Has your printer ever made this horrible noise? Yikes, that's not good. <laughs> so what we want to do to fix that sound is there's a card jammed in the very front of your printer. So if you come right here and look inside, it's underneath this flipper. So the way that we're gonna access underneath the printer is this little gray tab. You pull that up and this little side door opens right up. Now it's really easy. There's a little hole right here on the side. And as you can see in there, I don't know if you can see it here in the video, there's a card jammed towards the very front of the printer. There it is. So all we're gonna do is reach right in here and pull that card right out. Now when we close the lid again, 
we should be back up and running. Much better. Another common issue with really all ID badge printers is when you get a card stuck in the card path. With Evelis Primacy, it's super easy to clear that card jam. So all you're gonna do is go ahead and open up your lid, and as you can see right down here underneath the ribbon, uh-oh, we got a card stuck. So all we're going to do is right here on the front of the machine, go ahead and hold that power button with your lid open. And as you can see down inside here, go ahead and bring the camera up here. We will advance the card right out the back. It's as simple as that. And then you can go ahead and place your ribbon back in and you're back up and going. If you ever got white lines or a single white line on your card that you just can't seem to get rid of, um, it's a pretty common thing, especially with older ID badge printers and customers usually first try cleaning the printer to get rid of that white line, but I'm gonna show you what the issue is. It's not an actual cleaning issue. So what that is is actually your print head, which is located right here on the Evolus Primacy, it means your print head has been scratched, damaged, uh, a pixel has been fried in a sense, um, and there's no way to clean it. The only way to get rid of those white lines on your card is to actually replace the entire print head. Um, contact Newbart. We carry these print heads in stock. We'll be happy to help you out with getting that print head and walking you through how to replace that print head. Now we want to talk about the backside of the printer. So we're going to start with the power cord. Sometimes customers end up not using the actual power cord that was meant for the printer and you will have issues printing or the printer won't actually power on. So make sure you're using a genuine Evolus uh, power supply for your machine and make sure you have it plugged in the far right hand side where the power cord should be plugged in. Uh, the, next, the next plug or the next port in here uh, is actually the ethernet port. And I can't tell you how many times I've gone to a customer's business that has issues with the printer not printing and it's simply plugged into the wrong port. So make sure if you are having your printer networked, you are using your normal network cable in this second port. If you're using a USB and you're printing from a local computer, right, meaning that my computer's here and my printer's right next to that computer, then make sure your USB is plugged into the middle slot, just like so. The next port is your USB port, uh, which customers can use for hooking up a webcam. I mean, you could charge your phone through it if you want to, uh, but really it's meant to just act as an extra USB port uh, if your computer doesn't have any available ports. And those are just a few troubleshooting uh, things that you can try out if you're having issues printing with your Evolus Primacy ID card printer. Of course, if you need further assistance, you can always contact us. We've been doing ID badge printers for the last 35 years, and we'll be happy to assist. Uh, sales at newbart.com or just visit us on the web, newbart.com.